And that brings us to today, the one year anniversary. Several events took place across Carteret County today to help remember each of the lives lost in this tragedy. Not on your side, Cheyenne Pagan joins us now live from the Carteret County Courthouse. And Cheyenne, you've got more about some of those events and an update on how the community is doing. The top of the Carteret County Courthouse will be lit up blue in honor of the victims. It's a glimpse into how the community has come together to heal and move forward over the past year. On the lawn of Atlantic Elementary now sits five freshly planted trees with blue ribbons attached to them. Four for the young victims who once attended the school, plus Stephanie Fulcher, a substitute teacher who also died in the crash. When, when you have an event like this, it's tragic. And as a school, we were just looking at the best way to pay remembrance, pay tribute. One of the victims was Cole McInnes. His grandfather, Terry McInnes, says he takes comfort in knowing that each of the lives lost will continue to be honored. We appreciate uh, all that's been done for them, but every time I ride by here and see these trees, I'm going to think about them. During a special ceremony, the trees were unveiled and five balloons were released into the air, all while community members wearing camo gathered to pay their respects. It means a lot to the one year mark to see everybody come back together and support and have these new trees in front of our lawn that'll be here for years to come to represent them. And all over Carteret County, blue bows tied to mailboxes and signs remind people to never forget. You know, Down East is made up of a lot of uh, small communities, but we're all one together. The school system also encouraged students and community members to wear camo and honor the victims, all to show the world they are Down East strong. One thing that I do know is that this community, they rally, they support each other. And um, this was another very good example of community members supporting and helping out the families, and that will continue, I have no doubt. I think we lean on each other, and, and when times are tough, uh, down east is at its strongest. Commissioners also declared February 13th as Young Waterfowlers Day. We'll have the full proclamation posted at WNCT.com. Live in Beaufort, Cheyenne Pagan 9 on your side.